Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So a few videos ago, I showed you all how I organize my body jewelry, primarily my ear jewelry. I guess that's technically body jewelry, right? Cause it's not like normal stuff. Anyway, so I showed you all how I organize that jewelry. As I pointed out in that video, there's a lot of jewelry that I still have that I either don't wear anymore or have never worn. I bought it and just never wore it. So that got me thinking for today's video. I think I even mentioned it in that video saying that I needed to declutter my body jewelry. So that is what today's video is. I am going to go through my container and pick out the pieces that I'm just not gonna wear ever probably most likely watch me want to wear these things now but i wanted to clear it out a little bit just so i have more room for buying other pieces of jewelry and who knows you know i'm hoping to get some new piercings soon so i want sections of that organizer left open for those so yeah so if you're interested in body jewelry or even declutters keep watching all right so here is my jewelry my, or my body jewelry organizer i don't have really a plan on how to declutter things. Um, I know there are certain sections that I want to declutter for sure, and then there are some sections that I just wanna leave alone for now. So I guess we'll just start up here with this one section. Um, if you watched my organizational video, you know that I have never worn any of these pieces that don't wanna be in focus right now. So we're just gonna start a little pile over there ignore this table it needs help um, and we're just gonna just go from there so um, let's go down so these are all the tongue rings that I had or tongue bars tongue whatever that I bought for my conch because they were 14 gauge I'm okay with getting rid of them I'll find if I ever do get my tongue pierced I'll find something else going down here that as well here we've got some like initial piercing jewelry so like what I was initially pierced with because you can see it's got like the sharp end again hard to see because it's so tiny and it doesn't want to focus but those are initial piercings these are ones that um I've kind of lost the balls and stuff too so let's toss all of that and before anyone's like oh well you can just buy missing pieces online. Yeah, but at this point, I probably won't because I'm happy with the jewelry that I'm currently wearing as well as what I will keep. So down here are ones that I either don't wear or haven't worn in a long time. Like this one, I don't think I've ever worn. I think this was like one of those pieces that came with an order. Like you can pick a free piece. I'm gonna toss all these because they've kind of lost their little counterpart. And more pieces that have lost their counterpart. Um, I am gonna keep all my retainers for now, just cause you never know. I don't have many rook pieces, so I am gonna keep all of them all right over here. So this piece is like a little mandala. It never looked right in my ear so i'm gonna get rid of that this bee is really cute but again just doesn't look right in my ear or in any of my piercings that i put it in so i'm keeping this piece just for nostalgia reasons it was like one of the first like ornate helix piercings i ever or pieces of jewelry i ever got this one again just doesn't look right in any of my ears or in any of my piercings but i do think i'm going to keep it just because it's really pretty and i might eventually figure out where I could put it. Another piece that just never looked right in my ear. I think that's a, yeah, it's a lotus against like a pretty background, but it's so big that it just doesn't look right. I wanna keep this one because it's a fleur de lis, but it's like all jacked. See how it got sent to me? It was all bent and everything and it's really short, so. Another one I'll keep for nostalgia reasons as well as this one. Again, I said I'm keeping all my retainers, keeping all the rooks. Let's see down here. These are all just plain Jane Helix piercings. And there are a few that I just don't want. First up, I can already see this one. It's like a gold bar. I just don't wear gold, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Following that is like a silver square. Kinda hard to focus, it's really tiny, but I don't know why I got that, it's kinda boring. I do like my two opals, which 
are right here, so I am gonna keep them. I do like this Peridot looking one. Again, yeah, there he is. I like to wear him in a single helix just because I only have one. These are some pink opals that I had gotten at one point and they're really pretty, so I'm gonna keep them. Like these clear ones, they're not the best quality, so I am gonna get rid of them. You know the cat hair that may pop up. There's another pink opal. That must have been when I was trying to do my pink theme and it just didn't look great. They're really pretty still, so. More clear. This must have been a tragus pink opal because it's shorter than the other ones. I can't tell if this one's black. I don't remember buying a black stone, but I think it's black. I'll keep it. Another clear one. All right. So what's left is, um, this is all my conch stuff. That captive bead actually does fit that ring. It's just not connected at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Nostril jewelry. Yeah, let's go through that. I think septum jewelry I'm gonna leave alone because I really, that's like the one piercing that I always buy jewelry for and love everything that I've gotten, so. I think I'm gonna leave that alone. The nostril jewelry, I don't have as much for, but I still have too much, if that makes any kind of sense. First thing I wanna get rid of is this blue captive bead one. I don't even know where that came from. I'm fairly certain I didn't order that, but I don't know. Maybe I did. Again, another captive bead. I don't like captive beads in my nostril. It's just a lot going on. Let's see. So I have these two corkscrew ones. Yeah, these must, these items must have all been from when I tried to do a pink theme and then I just didn't like how it looked. These are pink corkscrew jewelry. I don't like how it looks in my nose. Someone brought it up saying it looked like uh, pimples and then I had to agree with them. And that kind of stunk. However, I will keep these cap or captive. I will keep these corkscrew ones. It's kind of hard to see, but they are like a tiger's eye look so I will keep them. I do have some closed ring like see the hinged they're like hinges I do have a few of them that I ever so often like to put in one nostril. I have a gold one. Oh, I think that might actually be a septum that looks a little bit bigger no maybe not I don't know I'll look into that these, on the other hand, these are like, they're supposed to be for your nostril, but they don't, they're, they're not very big, so they don't go in all the way, so I'm going to get rid of them. And the rest of these are just some regular L-shaped that I will keep. Oh, that's the initial jewelry for one of them. See how long that is? I'll toss that. All right, so that pile right there is what I'm getting rid of, and this is what I'm keeping, which is good because I've got more jewelry on the way, so there we go. My jewelry has been decluttered. All right, so I have officially gone through and decluttered all of my body jewelry, which is great because I actually just got some more pieces in the mail for other videos that are coming in the future. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys!